The city of Kalamazoo is working on a new master plan for the city's 52 parks and recreation sites. And they're asking for your input as Yasmin Looney explains. It may sound like a party here at Bronson Park, and that's exactly the plan. Kalamazoo Department of Parks and Recs is working on ways to make the community a fun place to be, but they need your help to do it. For the community, lunchtime live at Bronson Park is the perfect opportunity for music and fun. But for the Kalamazoo Department of Parks and Recs, it's a way for them to hear what the community has to say. This whole process is about hearing what the city of Kalamazoo wants. What do we have our, what are the visions for the city of Kalamazoo parks and programs? Deputy Director Ashton Anthony says the city is working on updating its new master plan. Um, at events like we're having today behind me, Lunchtime Live, we have worksheets for the community to be able to fill out. Um, what do they like about their parks and programs? The city is required to update the plan every five years. The current plan ends at the beginning of 2024, which is why they need the community's feedback now. This plan is an opportunity for the community to speak up on what they've seen in other areas that they might like to incorporate in Kalamazoo, or what could we do better, or what are we doing great? Continue to do just that. So far, they've received 400 responses from their online survey. One of the things that are rising to the top is accessibility um, between a park, park to park, so um, trails, walkways, bike paths, um, bike lanes, things like that within the park system. While waiting for her dance team to perform at lunchtime live, Carmila Little said she is pleased to see that the city is asking for feedback. We've always wanted people to hear you know, our concerns about what we can do to help the youth. So now that they're showing that interest, we now have to take advantage of that and make sure we're a part of what they're trying to do. Little says the more the city invests in parks and programs, the less downtime kids have. I think the more the kids stay involved, the more they'll be around people who can positively influence them to keep them off of the streets and make the right choice about gun violence. Although the online survey is closed, you will still have opportunities to fill out that form at future events or at their office. Reporting in downtown Kalamazoo, I'm Yasmin Ludi, Fox 17 News.